contact me through WhatsApp or email me or even do uh, a note on your PayPal donation telling me what you where you want your donation to go. And I'll be more than happy to make that happen. And the argument the Germans had was that sending in a box is very expensive. And that's true because they sent in 100 USD and we bought all the clothes you saw on those kids. Uh, Malaki and Ben and uh, this Esther and the brother Ben, the two Bens and Esther and Malaki, four children. And uh, plus the Crocs. So it was not just the brand new clothes, but you know, Crocs also. So if you were to send a box, then much of the money will go towards shipping costs. So it is wise to sometimes just send the money and, and, and let us know what you want us to do and we will be more than honored to do that. Okay, so it's like they're in Germany and on that very, very day, on the same day, what they had to do in Africa has been done. And what a joy to any donor because what a donor looks for in an organization they are donating towards is the implementation. It's the target population. It's not about how big the organization is or who is inside that organization. But the question is, can the organization deliver? Can they prove? Can they give you proof of delivery? That is what should concern every uh, wise donor. We have some donors who are not wise, who just give for the sake of giving because they'll get tax returns or because they think that somebody has been donating to a given organization. So let me also donate towards that organization because my grandmama or my mama or my uncle or my friend donates through the organization. Then they give and there is no evidence that their money will reach the target. And as we know, so many organizations actually abuse donor money. They put in like maybe 15 or 10 or 20 percent at most and 80 percent goes to the logistics and other things uh, meetings we have conferences where they go to these huge hotels and then just to spend the donor money uh, some of the organization some of the big fuel guzzlers the v8 engines belong to these ngos and that is not their money it's the donor money and and yet when the money came Somebody donated towards a child in Africa. The money went to some nice office in Nairobi where the director gets over 1 million Kenya shillings. And there are those fuel guzzlers, so poverty remains. People, you know, you wonder why uh, with all the money that comes to Africa, there seems to be no change. It is because those organizations are corrupt. They're systemically corrupt. They can never acknowledge that but they are corrupt they are legally corrupt the expatriates the people working in those organizations are foreign they are uh, actually expatriates they call themselves expatriates and they are these international guys who come from those developed countries uh, to work in these non-government organizations and they earn abnormal salaries somebody earns two million kenya shillings some don't even want to call it a salary they call it um honorar